All right, this one's gonna be on fresh RSS. It is a RSS reader that you can self-host. So I'm gonna tell you why I use it, maybe why you should use it too. Um, so in the past, I was just using just pure Newsboat, you know, a terminal application. Let me see and show you here. So this is a Newsboat, right? And I would use this to, you know, read my RSS. Let me see, where's my Linux stuff? Linux stuff here, right? And I'll read it from here, and um, that'll be it. The annoying thing with that is that um, if you want to do that on your phone or another computer, or whatever it is, you would have to like SSH into it. And if you're trying to read this on your phone, it's just it's really annoying because you know uh, Newsboat is really not designed for your phone. It's just, it just doesn't look good, right? Or, you know, the ex experience is not very great with that on a phone. Um, so that's why you would probably want to use Fresh RSS on here. Uh, another feature why I like using Fresh RSS as opposed to just like a, you know, a terminal application is that they have, um, what was that one? They have this thing called idle feeds. And um, I remember, um, what was it one? Google Reader had this thing too, where it tells you your feeds like if it's uh well when you import your feed or when you add a feed they'll tell you if it's dead or not so that's a, g a good giveaway to delete the feed another thing is with idle feeds um you know there's a lot of terminal rss reader but they don't have a way to detect that this feed is really old and it has not been updated um and you know you can't do that with a terminal application so this one they do have it uh, built in and you can see that this one I can see oh man look at these feeds here All right they haven't updated in the last five years this one is in the last three years uh, the last two years you know whatever it is right uh, I don't know what your cutoff date is but five years is really old and I can just go ahead and delete it if I need to and that is the convenience because I was having like I think I had like 200 not 200 two two thousand feeds and now I have like 800 because I was deleting a lot of stuff that was really old now. Uh, so it saves me some time with all those other feeds that's dead or not been updated anymore. So that's another feature I like in here with that. Um, in here in Fresh RSS, when you add a feed, right, not every page has an RSS feed. So in here, if you ever need to add something and if it doesn't have um, an RSS, uh, they have this feature in here called, well, you know, usually you add in an RSS or an Atom feed, but if you don't have it, it's like just static HTML or something. Like that. They call this thing called XPath, and basically it's scraping for like changes in the code. And that's how you would uh, add in like a static uh, or a, a page that does not have an RSS you can do in here. It's a little bit more complicated, but it does work. Let me show you a, what was that one that, that I have in here? I'll link you to a page. I remember it was in here somewhere. Let's see here. Xpath, oh, there, there we go. In here, this one. Um, they'll show you how to do scraping for you know the HTML site or whatever it is, and it'll convert it to like an RSS feed. So a little bit more complicated, but it does work. So you can do that in uh, your RSS um, you know feed if you want to add it. So that's another thing I like in here, which I haven't tried, but pretty sure it works. Anyways, uh, that's another thing. Uh, as far as in here, they do have plugins and stuff like that. So What's the plugins? Extensions, they call it. Right, they do have extensions if you want to install it. I only installed it one here. It's called Clickable Links. This one will convert, uh, you know, non-standard um, or just plain text URLs into clickable links. So that's good. Um, anything else I need to explain here? They do have it so you can actually connect to a mobile app, like on your phone or, you know, tablet, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, all you gotta do is go to authentication, uh, check this box to allow API key, submit, 
And then in profiles, um, you have this API management now. So you just type in a password. I just put, you know, zero to nine and then you submit and that's your API key. Uh, and that's what you use to connect to like Newsboat or your app on your Android or iOS, or whatever it is. And then you can use your API password to connect to it. But as far as the, you know, the fresh RSS uh, web UI, really cool. Like I said, you can use, you know, Vim Hockey's JKL and all that to go up and down, kind of like in your old Google Reader days, you can still do that. Uh, probably another reason why I use like the web UI is that if uh, I want to, if there's a, a feed that has like mainly images, like, you know, Unix porn or something like that, where they post just screenshots, uh, you can do that in here, right? This is, you just have like uh, just screenshots, much better than trying to read text on a screenshot subreddit or something like that. But let me give you some examples here. If I have like a YouTube feed, they'll show me some screenshots of it and it'll look something like this, right? Uh, I believe you have to enable that in the option somewhere, but they do have like, you know, um, little screenshots or thumbnails, I'll say, of the feed. And if it had an image or something like that, then it'll display it. Anything for that? Uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the web UI part portion. Um, now I get into why I wanted to use this one because it works with other applications. You can actually remotely, um, I guess, download the feeds to your applications. And you can do that with um, Newsboat here, right? So my Newsboat here, let can see, this is my URLs file. I basically don't have any, um, I don't have any like feeds in here. You can see that this is the whole, you know, file here. There's really no feeds, only the query feeds. Query feeds are kind of like categories you can do uh, in Newsboat, which I explained on my old video if you want to watch it, um, should be on my channel somewhere. Just search for query feeds. And um, that's how you would set up. So any categories I have in here, right? I just put the same categories and it will populate it because by default when you use your API key, um, It'll just go one feed at a time and it's really annoying. So you want to, you know, use query feeds to populate the uh, categories, right? So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just connecting to this, um, you know, fresh RSS self-hosted. So if I refresh now, let's say if I refresh this, you can see that it's going to be pulling from, um, let me refresh it here, right? It's going to be pulling from my, uh, server right it's just my local server on that uh, ip and port and it's just going to grab all the newly updated feeds from it and i can read it from here so i really haven't changed my setup uh i just like improved it mainly with this one so if i'm doing still doing terminal stuff i can still do the terminal stuff that i normally do so let's say for example if i want to um what was that here let me mute this thing first here uh, if I want to, you know, watch a YouTube video, um, I can still use MPV with that if I want to. All right, MPV. And it'll pop up in a minute. All right. Um, so I can still do the same stuff. It's just that now I can do it with other devices instead of just being on a computer all the time. All right. I can access the web UI portion uh, remotely. I can use it on my phone using a, um, what was that one called? If you go to FJoy, there's like a different ones in here. They have like fresh RSS. Personally, right now, I don't recommend fresh RSS mainly because um, the app does not have, uh, is that dark mode? It does not have dark mode and it's really annoying to look at a bright screen at night. So that's why I recommend you use uh, Redrops here. This one does have a dark mode uh, theme, and that's probably the only reason why I would recommend it. Um, and it's a good app too, so if you want to use that. They do have other apps in here. Let me see here. All right, they have like, uh, if you're on iOS, they have a bunch of them here. iOS, All right, so either or, whatever, uh, if you're using Android or, you know, iPhones, then you can, find one in their list here that it supports 
but uh, that's mainly why I use it. Like I can use it uh, in my terminal, which it has not changed my workflow. All right, I still use the same app that I was using um, um, before many years using Newsboat. And now I can use it uh, web UI uh, on my tablet, on my phone, and it's all synced to the same um, RSS feeds, right? So if I read one in one, then that one will be considered old and I don't have to like try to figure out which one I read or not. Yeah, if you had like multiple instances of it. Right now it's just one instance of fresh RSS and I can access it, you know, when I'm going to the toilet, I use my phone. When I'm on my computer, I use, uh, you know, Newsboat here. Or if there's an RSS that has images or something like that, then I would use this thing to see the images for that, uh, you know, RSS or whatever it is. And that's why I like it. Anyways, um, pretty much it for the program, really. Um, I, I really do recommend you try it out if you're, you're in that situation like I am where you want something to be a, a single place, but you want to access it multiple places, right? And it's just not, you know, really convenient just to use uh, Newsboat all the time. Uh, pretty much it for the program, like I said. Um, if you want to see what is it they have here, they have global view, they have, oh, this is a normal view. Global view, I'm not sure why this is a view. It's a waste of time. Uh, this one is a reading view. Kind of like just playing, you know, everything that's uh, not folded. It would just be unfolded and you can read it like that. Just scrolling downwards. Uh, set it for the program. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's all you got to do if you want to use this program. And, um, I installed it with Podman, like I said, but there's different ways to do it with Docker, uh, Python VMs, um, or like straight up. I think there's a, a shell script that, that you can do natively too, if you want. But a container is what I recommend because everything's already set up for you. Anyways, that's fresh RSS. Um, go ahead and go use it. Um, really cool program that's very mature that if you ever want that Google Reader experience without Google Reader and without like a third party um, hosting it, you can do it yourself on an old computer. It even works on ARM, I believe. So it's not like a very, um, you know, demanding program. Anywho, talking too long here, but Fresh RSS, I dig it. Use it everywhere. And one single place to host it. That'll be for this one.